Hello everyone, a very good evening and welcome to today's uh, session on the syndromes. Okay, so this, these are small sessions taken by an academy YouTube sessions for all of you uh, so that you know we can just teach up small topics we can bring up to you small interesting uh, tricks some small interesting pointers or the high yield points which is very much important for the neat entrance exams point of view so just for your basic introduction I'm Dr. Priyashin Mukherjee I'm a pediatrician and I'm an educator in an academy so this is my referral code for the YouTube that is uh, Dr. Priyashree dash yt okay so today we are going to do the very interesting topic that is learning syndromes with the help of mnemonics so we are going to learn turner's syndrome today and uh, just before i begin up with today's session let me tell you a brief about what we are planning on the unacademy plus platform so we are coming up with this foundation batch course need pg 2021 it has already been started actually uh, from 18th June onwards so this is the batch link and I'm teaching pediatrics I've already started up with neonatology so you, you can join if you have uh, joined it you can go through my lectures in it it has been a very interesting session with loads and loads of MCQs uh, discussed thoroughly with it in and out and not only that all the retrospective studies related to those MCQs has been done in these sessions there are many more sessions in it once you just go into it you will realize that there are so many uh, so many meticulous discussion on all the 19 subjects so this is my educator uh, uh, telegram channel this is t.me slash dr priyashri so this is my channel and the unacademy channel is t.me slash unacademy need pg don't forget to subscribe to these two channels because you know uh, we all are there on these platforms we keep on uh, putting up the quiz bots different questions you are free to mess put messages your difficulties you can be included in the groups so that again has a very good transparencies uh, we have many free sessions we have many youtube sessions we i'm going to tell you about those planets in my upcoming slides so don't forget to follow me on the unacademy platform don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button on unacademy need pg live youtube channel so going ahead so once you have subscribed the channel or you once you have downloaded the platform you can see that there are many live classes taken by many educators so there are many educators for the 19 subjects you can choose the educator you can choose uh, with whom so you are comfortable with with the subjects that you want to revise or the sp uh, study and uh, boom the subject is on and then uh, so of course this is all under this neat pg forum okay then coming up next is that uh, how to subscribe it for the for, for the plus subscription so there are different uh, patterns so we have it for one month we have for three months six months 12 months i would advise you that the need pg is up in next uh, uh, six months so you can take up the six months of the 12 month subscription because uh, the rates are absolutely nominal that is 18k you can see with 18k you are getting the best of all the teachers teaching you all the 19 subjects not only that giving you thorough revision plus you are free to ask your own questions you are not traveling anywhere sitting comfortably at home and um, in your comfortable environment you can study so that's the best thing you're saving so much of time so payment schemes are also very simple you can choose the bank there are emi patterns also select the bank and make the necessary payment okay so these are the youtube uh, sessions that we are coming up with so 5 pm 5 30 pm we have the five mcqs in 15 minutes 6 pm we have five images in 15 minutes then we at 6 30 we have case studies the clinical diaries then uh, 7 pm we have the pre-intern series by dr saket uh, 8 pm we have integrated sessions that is on mondays and wednesdays then 9 pm uh, we always conduct the subject by quiz 9 45 pm we have the syndromes and by 10 pm we have the clinical exam flashcard series so all are very interesting series for any of these series you can always 
be uh, 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 you can always uh, good go ahead and watch them so for that don't forget to subscribe i'm telling you once again and don't forget to take the plus subscription because many interesting things are coming up we have already started up with the foundation batch which is again a very very good uh, uh, course series and uh, do use my code that will avail you 10 percent discount so that's again very good and subscribe to the channel of unacademy that is t.me slash don dot uh, uh, slash unacademy need pg and my channel is t.me slash dr priya shri so going ahead with the free classes that we are planning on this unacademy platform so at 9 am we begin up with the fast revision of basics for pg 2021 so that's again a quick revision series then in the evening at 7 pm we have the throwback or previous year questions at 9 pm we have the pg 21 quiz at 10 pm we have pg 21 clinical mcqs at 11 pm we have the image based questions so these are all the upcoming free classes on the neat pg 2021 so you can definitely go ahead take the subscription and start your preparation so this is the batch course which i am talking about which has already started on 18th but still nothing is lost you can still pick up because you will, once you have subscribed you can come across uh, you can always go through the lectures which has already been conducted because we have the saved lectures and not only that you can also get the pdf so you will get the notes as well uh, from in the pdf format where you can directly see what the teachers have already written and what notes they have provided okay so this is the direct link for that the batch will end in the month of november so you can see that you will still have one month time for your complete revision okay plus all top 19 educators will be there teaching you helping you out with all your subjects so feel free and just uh, get it started okay so now let us begin up with the uh, turner syndrome now i have started up with this series of syndromes where i have already <clears throat> discussed down syndrome from where the most often questions are, are being asked uh, plus with every syndrome i have given interesting mnemonics which can help you to remember most of the parts of the syndrome most of the clinical features the presentations of the syndrome so if you want that you can always uh, search by my name and you'll come across those um uh, the sessions which i have taken already for the downs and the patta and edwards syndrome so today is the turner syndrome so what is turner syndrome so the full name is ehrlich turner syndrome and uh, uh, once we are talking about turner syndrome what strikes our mind is the karyotype xo right so half of these patients are having this type of karyotype so this is actually the mo most commonest cause of turner syndrome so what about the remaining 50% these remaining 50% are actually mosaics okay so now the mosaics are of different patterns either the mosaics are for uh, this 45x and a normal cell line like this okay 45x 46xx or they can be other mosaics like either they can be isochromosomes or the rings or the fragments right so in this they can ask you the mcq the most common cause of turner syndrome so this is the karyotyping status so you can uh, that is the first mcq so this is how the karyotyping you should read the karyotype always look for individual chromosome and then look for the x chromosomes as well no uh, to pick up because if you get a image based question on that you should be able to pick up what is the problem so there is only one x either there should be x and y or there should be one uh, one more x two x right but here this is only single x so that's typical for turner syndrome so i uh, i'm talking about mnemonic so the mnemonic that we use here in turner syndrome is see there is a baby clown see i don't i'm not here to insult anybody or it's just a simple academic mnemonic that we are using okay just to remember all the features of turner syndrome so the first that is c stands for three things s the s over here will stand for three things yes any idea about that okay i'll tell you the s over here is standing for short stature sensory neural hearing loss okay and short fourth metacarpal bone so three 
things out of s we have nothing for there then comes is a so for a we have a menorrhea okay so mostly they are amenorrheic patients now baby so b stands for the bar body which is absent a stands for the cardiac anomalies i'll tell you what are the cardiac anomalies that are commonly associated with turner syndrome b so we don't have anything for b over here okay now we have the l we are done with c we have the l that is lymphedema this is the most common cause of lymphedema and it causes swelling of the dorsum of hand and feet this is mostly seen during newborn period okay so we are done with s we are done with a we are done with b okay we are done with c we are done with l right now coming to the next that is o so here the o ovaries are streaky ovaries that is they are underdeveloped okay so that's o now coming for w that is webbed neck and last is nipples they have a shield shaped chest and widely spaced nipples so this covers up almost all the features of turner syndrome so here you can see from the image this child has got a glow hairline with the webbing of the necks a shield shaped chest flat chest with widely spaced nipples right a high carrying angle right and uh, internally there are rudimentary ovaries or streaky ovaries they have this primary infertility right shortened metacarpal bones small finger nails low hairline and a short stature right so most of them have been covered from the pneumonic so we have seen that the sexual maturation fails and uh, but one thing which is very important to remember here they have high signs of adrenarche which is normally present okay now coming to the cardiac anomalies so the what is the most common question asked in cardiac anomalies in turner syndrome is that what is the commonest cardiac anomaly in turner syndrome so the commonest cardiac anomaly in turner syndrome is bicuspid aortic valve okay so this is the mcq if bicuspid aortic valve is not there in the option then your answer is coarctation of aorta which is second in the list other cardiac anomalies are the partial anomalous pulmonary venous connection and last is aortic stenosis of mitral valve prolapse okay so you have to remember this that what is a commonly asked mcq over here that is the commonest cardiac anomaly in turner syndrome is bicuspid aortic valve and second in the list is the coarctation of aorta right now one very important point that i want to highlight over here is the webbed neck in patients with or without recognized chromosomal symptom syndrome is associated with both for flow related and non flow related heart defects this is very important statement this can this has been asked as mcq as it is okay and turner syndrome children have a greater chances of coarctation of aorta see there is a difference between this statement and the statement that i have previously quoted that what is the commonest cardiac anomaly okay they the children they have greater chances of having coarctation of aorta but the commonest cardiac anomaly is bicuspid aortic valve now coming to the renal malformations in turner syndrome so firstly they can have pelvic kidney they can have horseshoe kidneys double collecting systems complete absence of one kidney and ureter pelvic junction obstruction okay now this is again very important a turner syndrome at the time of birth so we all know that turner syndrome they mostly have this issues of lymphedema
so because of this they have this edema of the dorsum of the hands and feet and that is exactly how it looks right and this is the edema of the hand not only this they can have loose skin folds at the nape of the neck so this is how it looks so this is the nape of the neck of a case of turner syndrome plus they are born with a low birth weight and decreased birth length that accounts for the short stature right so that's all about turner syndrome i hope this has helped you a bit and will help you in solving some of the mcqs do come up do try solving some of the mcqs and don't forget to drop me a message on unacademy app if at all you have any difficulty you can directly message me through this app and uh, you can quote your difficulties in the message box i'll surely answer your messages as early as possible but before you switch off subscribe to this channel and click the bell button so that you keep on getting the updates about what's happening in unacademy thank you very much and here i end my session Take care and have a good day.